Hello, and this is my podcast, and today I'm joined by... Logan. And we're going to be talking about all things Liverpool. Right, and today, for the first question is, who's your favourite football player? So, it is hard because they're all talented, but I've got to go with one at the back, Jarrell Kwanzaa, because since he's joined, no one's get. He has got... People's got past him, but he's... He's been quality this season, hasn't he? Yeah, I've got to agree with you a bit there, but I think he's still got a lot of time to come there. But I'm going to go with one that not many people would say I don't think, but I like a bit of Robertson. Yeah, yeah. Right, question number two. If you had to sell one player, who would it be? I would sell Curtis Jones. Um, because he's, every season... he's. He's not the best, is he, though? See, I disagree with you here. Like, I reckon Curtis Jones is all right. For me, I reckon it's Joe Gomez, you know. No, He's not... but we need defenders, though. That's yeah, the thing. The thing is, when he plays, he doesn't always, like... He's always... There's always something up with him. He never has, like, a good game, really, I think. And I think we've got a solid defence there. We've got, as you said, Jarrell. We've got Van Dyke and we've got Kanate. And there's some free solid um, defenders. <laughs> uh, question three: Who would you buy and why? Okay, this. Is... I like Allison got injured. I would need. I would get a better goalkeeper do you know what i mean yeah i don't think we need a better goalkeeper i think we need a backup one in case a big injury shocks us like what happened to ellison and we need oh it's hard. we've, got, it's we've hard. got kelleher like but i just think we need a top tier one and he's not the best though is he yeah no kelleher's not the best he like um he let a few in and like some dingy goals some sloppy goals but i think we need i think we need someone like to stay you're gonna call twice you know Cause they're some solid keepers, really. But I don't know. What do you think? I agree, but it's hard, isn't it? Because some goalkeepers are not the best, and some are talented, but they don't want to leave, do they? No. Number four. What would be your starting eleven? Okay. I'll put Allison in there, Trent, Kwanzaa, Van Dyke, and Robinson. In defence. Yeah, solid defence, that. Let's go to... Midfield. Trent. No, not Trent. Uh, McAllister. Slobbersai. And... Ooh, Gavin Birch. And then... Do you know what? I'm not... I, I am going to put Gapo first. I'm going to put yeah, Gapo... Yeah, I like a bit of Gapo, me. And then... But... It's, it's like hard. I don't know whether to put Jota on or not. So I'm not being funny, Nunes hasn't had the best of games recently. He's missed some, I would say, sitters, really. But it's hard. So I'll put G- Gapo, Salah and Diaz up front. Salah's not been having the best either, really, has he? No. Since he's had that 200 goal, goals, it's not been the best, has it? I know. Right, I would start Robertson. Um, not Robertson. Trent on the right. Trent right back. Kwanzaa centre back um, alongside Virgil Van Dijk, and um, I don't, did I say Robertson? <laughs> yeah. Rob- no, no, yeah. Robertson on the left, and then in the middle. Again, I've had. I'd have Gavin Birch, McAllister. But I'm gonna go over cheeky one here. Endo, I like him. He's. He, he can play at the back as well. I, I, he is good at tag. But Slabbers, he needs Slabbersai with some yeah, well, here free it comes. kicks. Here it's coming. Gakpo. Um, Slabbersai top. Mm-hmm. And Jota on the right. Yeah, because then you've got... You've got two, three go- good goal scorers. But then you've still got a solid diff- midfield and a solid back. That's yeah. my go-to starting eleven. And right, number five. What is your favourite Liverpool kit? 
So I think this season, I'm not too keen on the kits this season, but I'm not sure what season it was, but it was a purple Liverpool kit, and that kit was for me. I loved that kit. I agree with you there, but the white and green one still looks nice, doesn't it, though? I don't like that. Do you not? No. I disagree with you there. Right, number six. Who was the first player to play for Liverpool? I don't know this myself, but I think he's got to be a good one, really. But yeah, you can't really like because it could have been. He could have been all right, but then he couldn't have been the best of the best that some players we've got. Yeah, you never know, though. They could be, like, legends like Steven Gerrard and everything, like Suarez. Steven Gerrard wasn't... Suarez yeah, and everything. Yeah, we have had some good players, but I'm not sure, but I think it might have been way back past, like, Kenny Dalglish and all them. Yeah, yeah. The Stevie Highway. Now, personally, I think they were some class players. I think Liverpool were at the best when they were playing. But we've still got some good players now, so it's not. I'm not sure. Number seven, if you could bring back one player, who would it be and why? Okay, I would bring Mane or Firmino because Name is... Something else really, isn't it? Yeah, when, if, if he stayed, Salah and him would have been shock, like... Amazing. Yeah, but the thing is, my name Firmino and Salah, I'd say one of the best trios there. But there's not one that gets mentioned really, but when he was at Liverpool, I think he was at his best he's ever played. Philip Coutinho. Yeah, you know. I yeah. like him because he's just like a mini mini maestro, really. He's rapid, he's good on the ball, he can have a shot as well. But then Mane. And the ones you said they're good as well, but it's really hard to be fair. It's hard because we've had some quality players. Yeah, it's it's hard because we've had some ballers. <laughs> yeah, we have really, but it's hard to be fair because we've had some uh, quite a lot of good players leave. They've all gone to Saudi. That's the thing. Yeah. But on to question eight: If you could sign one player, who would it be? Okay, Jude Bellingham. Without a doubt, Jude Bellingham. I don't know. No hesitation or nothing. Jude Bellingham. It's hard. Because, do you know what? There's a, I think he's really underrated. You probably don't know who I'm on about. But there's this person who plays for Dortmund. He's called Adeyemi. Oh, I know. Yeah, he's, he he's is quality. Class. He's quality him he's as well. He's rapid. He's good on the ball. He can have a shot. He can defend. I think he's just an all-round proper good player. Right. So number nine, would you swap the kit colour? What from this season? Just the colour of Liverpool red. Personally, I wouldn't. I think. I think it needs a bit upgrading. You know, nope, it is a bit. I don't, I'd stick with it. Because um, it's like classic, in it? Yeah. Everyone's it's... known it. You wouldn't want to just swap it. Because it's the red versus blue derby, Everton and Liverpool. Yeah. And you wouldn't just want to swap the mighty reds kit like that. I wouldn't, personally. Number 10. Would you swap the badge? Not really, no. I don't know. It's hard. Because it has been the same for quite a while. It's a bit basic. But... It's still, it's still nice. Sometimes though, isn't it? basics good, really, because it stand, it stands out on the kit. It's all it's like a nice badge, and I just think it represents like the players represent it well as well. So yeah, I agree with yeah. you there. So that was the last question, but I'm gonna add a bonus question on here. <laughs> Would do you want Jurgen Klopp to leave, and why? I, I don't really, because the new one that we're having is from Parland. I don't think he's going to be very good. And the boys have had a long time with Klopp. I know, he's won them trophies and everything. No, but think of this. Klopp, 
I've done all these tactics, then this Haaland thing, coach, gonna come in, swipes all of that away, and that's gone, and then they're just gonna be like, what? They won't understand, because they know their I or the ideas, don't they? Depends. I don't want him to leave personally, because of all he's done for Liverpool and everything. He came, said he was gonna get us this, and he got it us. So then I don't, I don't want him to go. But like you said, if we're getting a new manager, I don't know if there's been a couple that have been saying they're coming. But I think they'll come, think they're better than Klopp, and then swipe all of that away, give them a fresh new tactics. I think Liverpool won't get it at first, but then they'll like adapt to it in a few um, few games. But I think, I hope we win the season this this season. I'm not sure, we've had a few off games recently, but I hope we win it at least something for Klopp. All, all them Everton fans out there, the only reason Liverpool lost is because Liverpool want to play the, Liverpool want to play Everton in the derby. So, 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 that was an off game, that wasn't it though. Yeah, it was an off game. Nothing you can really say about it really. But, it is what it is. It is what it is. You just gotta get on with it. Right, that is all for today. That's all for today. That's all we're gonna say. We might be back, you never know. And that's what we've got to say about Liverpool. All our questions. Goodbye. Bye.